Today we will visit three special places in the vicinity of Yerevan, Gigard, Garni and Symphony of Stones Gorge. On the way to Gigard there is a beautiful viewpoint, the Arch of Charians, built by Israeli architect Raphael and dedicated to the famous Armenian poet Yegisha Charians, who loved and admired the beauty of Mount Ararat. The Arch of Charents was one of the favorite places of the poet. He used to spend time here, watching Ararat in search of inspiration. The words from the poem of Charents are engraved on the arch. Past the whole wall there is no summit as wide as that of Ararat. Like glory road, unreachable, I love as well my mount, my sis. Gigard, meaning spear, is a medieval monastery being partially carved out of the adjacent mountain surrounded by cliffs and it's listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. While the main chapel was built in 1215, the monastery complex was founded in the 4th century by Gregory the Illuminator at the site of Sacred Spring inside a cave. The full name of the monastery is Gigardavang meaning the Monastery of the Spear, originates from the spear which had wounded Jesus at the crucifixion, allegedly brought to Armenia by Apostle Jude, and stood amongst many other relics. The monastery is built into solid rock in an equal armed cruciform fashion. More than 20 buildings were carved directly from the side of the mountains, and these structures include tombs, chapels, vestries and churches. The interiors of the buildings at Gegart are neatly decorated. Many feature carvings of various wild animals, flowers and other vegetation and complex geometrical patterns rendered in high relief. Among the most elaborate carvings is that of two lions with the heraldic eagle of the Prussian princess with a lamb in its claws. The upper level of the church is connected by an external staircase also carved into rock. On the southern side of the corridor leading to inner chambers, numerous crosses are cut. The columns hewn in solid rock support in rather low arches. The acoustic in this chamber is extraordinary. Let's talk about Armenian bread, lavash. Originally, it's Armenian and Iranian flatbread, now found throughout Western Asia and the Middle East. It's a simple bread made from flour, water and salt using an old dough method. 
It's rolled into a thin sheet. Then stretch over a convex cushion with a handle on its underside and sprinkle lightly with water. The cushion serves as a sort of peel, allowing the baker to reach down quickly and slap the dough against the oven's wall where it will stick. In the intense heat of the fire, the breads bubble and brown in a matter of seconds, after which they are plucked from the oven using a long metal hook and added to a nearby stack of cooked lavash. Garni Temple is the only standing Greco-Roman colonnaded building in Armenia. It's located 11 kilometers from Gegard Monastery and is the best known structure and symbol of pre-Christian Armenia. The temple was built in the middle of the 1st century CE and was dedicated to Armenian sun god Mihar. It remarkably survived in the destruction of pagan temples following Armenia's conversion to Christianity in the 4th century and countless invasions and earthquakes. The temple has 24 Ionic columns symbolizing 24 hours of a day. The Roman baths found next to the temple of Garni are built from the brick and Armenian tuff volcanic stone. The Symphony of Stones is a natural monument and a part of Garni Gorge. The monument consists of huge symmetric hexagon and pentagon bezelled columns nearly 50 meters high, which seems to be handmade due to the amazing symmetry. The stones hanging against the gravity resemble an organ, which is also referred to as bezelled organ pipes. Massive lava flows showing some of the most impressive columnar joint prisms are exposed in the canyon of Azat River flowing beneath the gorge. On a promontory above the gorge, the temple of Garni we've just visited may be seen. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to be updated of the new releases.